So let us uh, discuss about the set data type in Python. Sets are basically unordered collection of objects. So by unordered collection of objects, which means that it cannot be indexed like lists or or you know tuples. So let me try to define a set and you know let us try to understand what that statement means. So I'll define uh, a set here with three elements A, B and C. <clears throat> so you define the set just like the list but the only difference is that instead of the square braces you have the curly braces and with tuples you have the parentheses right so I'm going to define this set set 1 equal to a b and c and let me check the type of this variable set 1 so you can see that the keyword is set I mean the data type is set so what I told was the sets are an ordered collection of objects so which means that it cannot be indexed like lists and tuples okay so when I say something like set one of zero which means that I am trying to access the first element of the set which is a so when I try to execute if you if you do this on list or tuple it's going to work but if you do this on set and execute you get this error set object is not subscriptable so which means that the set cannot be indexed okay so that was about uh, unordered objects and one more point is that the set contains only unique elements okay let me try to define one more set here I'll write set 1 equal to 1 2 um, 3 4 and then intentionally I'll again write 1 2 and maybe 4 so I have repeated 1 2 and 4 okay and then I'm writing these elements inside of a set so I enclose them in between the you know, curly braces which means that I'm trying to declare a set here <clears throat> so now after entering the values if I check the values of this set object or set variable you can see that all the unique elements have been removed so which means that set can contains only unique elements so even if you try to replicate the elements or repeat the elements the set is just going to remove them and retain only the unique elements okay so if you have a list tuple or a string where you want to remove the duplicates just you can convert it to set okay so let's say I have a list okay so if I have a list something like uh, 1 2 3 uh, 2 and 3 so I have a uh, I have a list so I have enclosed this in between square braces which means that it is a list so now if you want to remove the duplicates inside this list of course there are other methods to remove duplicates but you can simply write or you can simply convert them to set and you can see that you have removed the duplicates okay just by converting it to set and then if you want to convert it back to list right you can simply write uh, list of set of that list so it will come back as a list okay and then you can also remove the duplicates from the string as well right you can do the same thing with the strings so when I have a string something like a b c d a and b <clears throat> so I want to remove the duplicates inside this string so I can simply convert them to a set and it is going to remove the <coughs> duplicates okay so if I want to convert it back to string so you can do something like empty string dot join and pass this set and it will come back as a string 
but then uh, the order is lost because you know the set is an ordered object so that's one disadvantage of uh, you know using the set to remove duplicates from your string so the order will be lost is what i'm trying to say so if you want to check if an item exists in the set you can directly write an if statement on on the set so i'll declare a set set 1 equal to 1 2 3 and 4 okay so you can if you want to check if if an if an item exists inside your set you can directly write an if statement so i'll write if 2 in set 1 i am going to print 2 is present in set 1 okay so since 2 is actually present in our set it is going to print the statement okay the set the sets support some of the functions such as um, union intersection and also difference and also there are various other functions that uh, you know a set supports so let us try to uh, see an example of each of them so let me define a function here uh, sorry uh, two sets here so i'll define set 1 with the values 1 2 3 and 4 and set 2 with values mm, maybe 5 and 6 okay so i have declared two sets so in this example we want to understand what does this union method going to do so when i say set one dot union of set two okay so what happens is it is going to return a set which contains all the elements from set one as well as set two and of course it will be unique elements so it's going to combine the elements of set one and set two and return as as a new set okay so now when I, when I execute this you see the result is one two three four five six which is just the combination of all the elements from set one and set two okay so now let's look at the example of intersection of sets so let me define two sets again here so i'll define one two three four and in the second set i'm going to define uh, maybe um, three <coughs> four five and six okay so i have two sets here so now i'm going to write something like set one dot intersection of set two so what do you think this uh, this line is going to return so the, you know what if you remember what intersection is it's basically the elements that are common between these two sets so what are the elements that are common between these two sets so it's basically 3 4 and 3 4 so these two are the elements that are common between the two sets so that is what it is going to return okay so when i execute this you will get the value or or a set which contains the elements that are common between the two sets okay so now let me uh, let us let us look at the difference function as well so let's take the same example here and now instead of intersection we want to find out the difference between two sets so when i say set one difference set two okay what it's going to return is it's going to return back set one but it's going to remove the elements from set one which are common or which appears in set two as well so it's going it, it, it has to basically return one two three four which is set one but then the two elements in set one also appear in set two which is three and four so 3 and 4 will be removed from set 1 and what we get as output is 1 and 2 
So when I execute this, you will get 1 and 2. Okay. So this is all this all this is a function uh, to find out if 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 a set is a subset of another set. Okay, let me try to show an example here. Um, I'll say set one equal to one two three four and set two equal to three and four. So now I'll write a statement set two dot subset of set one. So when I write set two dot subset set one, what I'm trying to ask is whether set 2 is a subset of set 1 or in other words whether the elements of set 2 are present in set 1 or, or the all the elements in set 2 I am just asking all the elements of set 2 are present in set 1 okay so it is actually true um, set object has no attribute it is uh, is subset so it's going to return true or false right so when i execute it is true it's because set 2 contains only those elements so uh, yeah set 2 contains only those elements which are present in set 1 so that is what the meaning of subset is okay so now there's another um, function called superset it's basically similar to so now let, let us check another uh, example here um, let's say 3 4 and 5 and I want to check whether 3 4 and 5 is a subset of 1 2 3 4 what do you think the answer is so the definition is that set 2 is a subset of set 1 if all the elements of set 2 appear in set 1 or in, in other words set 2 contains only those elements that are present in set 1 so we have a, an element phi which is not present in set 1 that's why set 2 is not a subset of set 1 so you're going to get false okay now there's also a function called superset it's uh, basically just like the you know subset it's just the reverse way of asking right so when I say um, in this way you are checking set 1 is a superset of set is superset of set 2 so when I say set 1 dot is superset of set 2 I'm just asking whether set 1 is a superset of set 2 or in other words I'm just asking if set 1 contains all the elements that are present in set 2 okay if set 1 contains all the elements that are present in set 2 then set 1 is a superset of set 2 so when I execute this I should get true because set 1 contains all the elements that are present in set 2 all the elements that are present in set 2 is 3 and 4 so which is also present in set 1 that's why set 1 is a superset of set 2 so let me try <coughs> another example here when I say 3 4 and 5 do you think set 1 is a superset of set 2 the answer should be false because by the definition set 1 is a superset of set 2 if set 1 contains all the elements that are present in set 2 so set 1 should contain all the elements that are present in set 2 so all the elements that are present in set 2 is 3 4 and 5 out of these elements only 3 and 4 are present in set 1 and 5 is missing so that is why set 1 is not a superset of set 2 in this case and when you execute this you'll get the answer as false okay now there's a function called add to if you want to add new element to the set so when I say set 1 equal to maybe 1 2 and 3 okay 
and then let me try to show the add function so the add function accepts a parameter which you want to add okay so set one dot add it will add the number four into our existing set okay so now when i check the value of set one it contains one two three and four and to remove an element from the list there is a function called discard okay so when i say set one dot discard and if you want so it accepts a parameter or an element that you want to remove from your set so when i say four so it's going to remove four from our set and the final set should contain only the elements one two and three so let us verify that so we have only one two and three 